hi if you are going to see a friend of ours who is wounded who is injured what are we going to carry with us it is usually apples and oranges and why these fruits because uh, these fruits contain lots of collagen in them and what is collagen going to do in our body it is going to heal the wound it is by forming strong connective tissue so that is the importance of vitamin c also if we have ble bleeding gums or uh, swollen gums that are going to bleed or uh, the tenderness in that area on top of it if there is tiredness in the body or uh, pain in the extremities like joint pain or uh, pain in the muscles plus if there is uh, something like hemorrhage in that uh, calf or leg or forearm forearm and then uh, if we if we have all these or at least some of this we are referring to a condition called the scurvy and what is scurvy it is nothing but vitamin c deficiency it's a it's a it's a condition due to vitamin c deficiency and why do we human beings get this condition because vitamin c is not formed in the body we do not synthesize what vitamin c like but some animals and they synthesize it in their liver and birds also synthesize it but not we human beings so it means we have to take in vitamin c daily and uh, vitamin c is a water soluble vitamin so it is isn't stored in the body like the fat soluble vitamins a d e and k and so that very day we have to take the vitamin c that is one thing secondly we have to make sure that we take the needed quantity because it isn't stored in the body if you take less quantity today and tomorrow you take more it's not going to compensate that so that very day that intended quantity has to be taken and what is the required um, quantity of vitamin c that has to be taken daily it is called rta that is recommended day dietary allowance and it is 40 mg per day of course and uh, it applies to adults who do sedentary work or like who sit idle or who do strenuous work irrespective of their uh, activity level this uh, vitamin is uh, going to like the amount is the same and uh, but uh, one has to take uh, this uh, double the amount if one is uh, lactating one is a lactating mother like lactating mothers have to take 80 mg and uh, uh, for babies who are uh, like crawling creeping or uh, sitting or uh, about to stand or started walking i'm talking about the babies who are less than 1 year old they have to take 25 mg of this vitamin c this is i'm not talking about the quantity of the fruit this is the amount of vitamin c that has to be taken in and the amount of vitamin c that is present in 100 g fruit or 150 g fruit or one apple or one orange one lemon is different we have to know that and we are going to know that surely and so uh, vitamin c this is the total amount of vitamin c that one has to take in and it's better if we take Uh, like two or three grams of vitamin C. Why? Because this is a vitamin that gets uh, lost with uh, cooking, drying, preserving, or storage. So if we if we buy some two kgs of uh, apple or orange and we and we store it at home and we are not go not going to get that the same amount of uh, vitamin C from it. So several factors contribute to that. So it is better if we take. like 2 to 3 grams of vitamin c on a daily basis so that finally we'll get 40 mg and what what happens if we take excess in, in excess no problem it's a water soluble vitamin it gets uh, like the unwanted ones it gets uh, lost in the urine through urine we can expel this uh, vitamin b and c both together then so that is about uh, vitamin c and in our next video we'll see like uh, what fruit contains how much vitamin and which is the richest source of vitamin c and which is a moderate source and what are the other sources till then take care thank you